Welcome to another video blog by The Counseling Geek, a blog helping you, the professional educator, develop technical and 21st century skills. Hi, it's Geekmaster Jeff for The Counseling Geek. Today we're going to be looking at the Forms feature of Google Docs a little bit more in depth than my brief overview from several weeks ago. So we can get right into this. I created a form. I've already pre-filled it with questions. I decided to do a college interest survey just for, for example. And there are a lot of questions on here. I'm not going to show you how to create every question. The key thing that I'm looking for here is to create a form that will allow the students to go to certain pages based on their answers. So how that works is this. In order to, to use that feature, you have to have a multiple choice question. That's the only question that will prompt you to say go to page two, go to page four, go to page three, depending if you answer yes, no, maybe. So we have this first question, have you applied to any colleges yet? That's a pretty standard opening question that, that kind of helps us categorize what type of student they are and what their interests are. So a yes and no answer. If they answer yes, I created, you can see this page down here. Um, you can see this is the page here that we've created. I can edit it using this and it, we can add a description, add a title, and that will allow us to put questions in different areas so students can access them. Um, and so as you saw here, the yes answer will go directly to page two, which are the have applied or will apply to colleges to students. Um, and then I added several questions, trying to, trying to show you the different types of questions you can put on there and the ways that students can fill them in. You can also see that some of these questions are required for students to move on. Typically, I don't add required questions uh, unless they are the s very specific questions that you're looking for when you're trying to gather your data. So after that, after they get finished with this question, you can see I added another page, which are the have applied. I, I added a few other questions. If you try to stack too many questions on one page, I find that students kind of get overwhelmed. So try to break it up as best as po as best you can. That way students will keep clicking to go to the next page. Um, on page four here you can see I did a have not applied yet. So if students answered no up here in this first question, have you applied to any colleges yet? No, it's going to take them to page four, which is this page here. And that question prompts them again, do you plan on applying to college? So you haven't applied yet, but do you plan on it? And then again, if they answer yes, I take them right back to that second page where it, where it asks them more about what colleges they will be applying to or they're interested in applying to. Um, the no will take them on to the not applying to colleges. And then the uh, unsure will take them on to the not applying to colleges. Um, and I, that's changeable. You can take that either to the not applying yet or up back up to the I'm interested in college. To, depends on what you're trying to get out of the students. A lot of times the unsure questions are sometimes better left off off your uh, survey. Um, so like this says, if you can see this here, it says, no, go to page selections will override this navigation. So using this, the go to page two, go to page five, when you get done with this page, if you don't have those, it'll continue on to the next page unless you select go to page six or page four. Um, on this page selection part. That is powerful if, you, if you're if you not really, if you don't want to narrow students into using the multiple choice questions, you can have any type of question you want and then after they're finished you can say go to the final page where it, it kind of pulls everything back together. Um, I did so using a demographic type survey questions that both students that are interested in college and not interested in college I'll direct to this um, page here. Um, all these questions are definitely not required, and I always include the choose not to answer or omit um, option when asking these type of questions. So let me show you how this looks at the end, just to give you a good example. Um, so here's the basic college survey that we that I created. So as as you see, there's only one question. The first that first question on that first page. Um, that's going to tell you, yes, I'm going to college, or no, I'm not going to college. So let's click yes for for example's sake. Um, so we clicked yes, and like I mentioned before, it's going to take you to the have applied or will apply to colleges page. Um, and it asks you these questions. I'm just going to click a few of these. Um, some of them are required, so I do need to, to type those in. 
if I can type in right. And then other other questions, they're not required, but I'm just going to randomly fill stuff in here. Um, I don't want to apply to early mission, and I'll just do that. Okay, so that's that's the first page of our students that are interested. And then um, you know, how often you talk with your parents. I'm going to say monthly and money, just because that's simple. Okay, so that's that's that. Okay, so since we didn't have any other questions regarding the students that are going to college, uh, we could add more pages. We could add some more multiple choice to kind of you can make it as many uh, layers as you want in your your surveys. If you would like to get super in depth, you just need to keep adding pages and keep using the multiple choice or the go to um, option at the end of the page to kind of get yourself deeper and deeper. But then remember, you have to get yourself out. Um, so there's always a good, I feel like an ending section that's applicable to both, to any parties that you're, or any survey takers that will pull everyone back together um, is always crucial. So we'll just uh, select this stuff here, just randomly. Uh, maybe I wanna make a lot of money and I'm in 12th grade. And you submit and it simply states, thank you. And we'll go back to the beginning of the question and we'll try the other option just to show you the different viewpoints. So no, I have not applied to any colleges yet. As you can see, that takes us to the other page where it's where I'm kind of going to clarify and make sure that students, you know, if they haven't applied, but they're interested in applying, uh, this is where it kind of will catch them and redirect them into somewhere else. Um, so if I say, yes, I do plan on applying, it'll take me right back to have applied or will apply to colleges. So here's the example of what it's going to look like if I say, no, I'm not interested in applying to colleges. Um, just you know, another page with different questions that are that are focused and targeted towards those students. So you're not asking them about their college interests or their major. You're asking them, you know, what's stopping them from applying to colleges? You know, I, I don't have very good grades. I have another career in mind that doesn't require me to go to college or I can't afford it. You know, a question that, that prompts them, you know, if the world was perfect and my grades weren't bad, my, my parents had money that could, I could afford to go to college, um, I knew what I wanted to do, would I apply to colleges? And I would say yes. Okay, and this type, this is the type of question where you might want to use a multiple choice. And if they say yes, take them back after this, after they're finished with it, and take them to that first scenario where they're asking them, you know, I will apply to colleges, just to see what they're interested in as well, and get them thinking about that. So that's the uh, the gist of the forms. And as you see, it takes you right back to the demo. And when you're finished, you're finished. And it says, so yeah, I practice some and you get the nice little summary that spits out the questions and that's that. So that's it for the uh, the quick tutorial. Uh, under 10 minutes, so good for me and uh, I hope that you enjoy this. If you have questions, I can go into it as much depth as you want. Um, feel free to email me and I will or comment on this, this uh, video or on my blog and I will answer your questions as best I can. Thank you for stopping by. Come back soon. Comments and questions are always welcome. You can connect with the Counseling Geek via Facebook by following at Counseling Geek on Twitter, adding me to your circles on Google+, or writing to me via email.